Hello and welcome to a new video. Uh, this is Martin from ELT Experiences and today I've got uh, Maciej Schwartz from Lesson Ninja. Uh, in this interview, we're going to be looking at uh, his platform and how it could also help you with your online and face-to-face -face classes. So uh, welcome, uh, Maciej. Thank you for taking the well, time to I'm join. There. Could you tell me a bit more about Lesson Ninja? Uh, what is it and who is it for? Sure. Uh, before that, I'd actually like to introduce myself so that uh, uh, people know uh, and your your viewers know uh, who I am. So uh, it's interesting because I'm actually not just the app creator, but I'm more of an EFL teacher. Mm -hmm. And I've been teaching for actually 10 years, actually more than 10 years, because my first student was my neighbor's little brother. So if you count that in, it's <laughs> even more. Uh, yeah. And then it was my sister. Uh, but yeah, so basically I have I have a pretty broad experience in uh, teaching English as a foreign language. Uh, and I'm also running my own language school mm -hmm. uh, in which my team was kind of like the first um, uh, they were the first testers of the app and in 2020 me and my friend Tadek uh, who's the programmer and the big gray eminence behind all of this uh, and he's responsible for the whole technical side uh, and uh, yeah and in 2020 we decided to do something together because I was telling him about all my problems as an EFL teacher especially that everything uh, moved online at that point mm -hmm. uh, although I had been working online before uh, but still, it was like there was like a bigger need of uh, solving some of the issues that came up, you know, when everything switched to online. And I was basically complaining about how uh, I create gaps manually in uh, text editors, pressing dots or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, underscore, 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 underscore. <laughs> uh, and how and I thought, you know, it was a little silly, especially that I was preparing a lot of uh, you know, individual classes which are different from each other and so on. Um, and this is actually, uh, yeah, this is actually uh, how it started and a little bit of a background um, about me. Uh, and when it comes to the main question, which is what is Lesson Ninja? So it basically it's a platform for teachers um, which enables them to create interactive customized activities within seconds so like literally you're able to create something from scratch like under one minute uh, mm -hmm. of course you can spend more time on it uh, but I, I think you're easily able to do this um, so these activities are interactive they are easy to export um, and basically Lesson Ninja right now, it boasts two tools. One is like a gap fill creator, but with a lot of modern edge, let's say. So some importing options, some uh, automated functions, which I hope uh, I can show later. Uh, and a um, sentence splitter. So basically it, it creates matching exercises where you have to match uh, halves of sentences or or terms and definitions, uh, depending mm -hmm. on how how you work with it. Oh, great. Okay, so it's got quite a bit of potential then. Um, and what what about um, you know you, you mentioned two functions uh, that it currently has. Do you have any future ideas or um, uh, thoughts about where it might be leading with additional functions? Yes, we have a list. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a list of ideas. And we want to, but for now, we decided to just, you know, um, make those two functions perfect and see if our ideas um, are um, interesting for the community, create a community. And when we have a lot of users, we can also ask them what they are missing. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody who is watching this, uh, if you check out Ninja and you have any suggestions, we're super open to hearing them. Uh, because, yeah, we want to decide on our next tools depending on what the community and what the teachers say they need. Because mm -hmm. personally, we have like plenty of ideas, 
but like all of them seem, you know, interesting. So we want to actually listen in to the voice of the community and see, you know, where this takes us with our uh, next tools. Well, I suppose, uh, how could Lesson Ninja benefit uh, English language teachers though? Yeah, so I think it does it in uh, several ways. Uh, like I said, uh, at the beginning, it was my personal experience with teaching, which kind of like gave us the first ideas. Then we started talking to other teachers, my friends, my team from my work and so on. And then um, we decided on uh, several important factors. So mm -hmm. first of all, Lesson Ninja has to save uh, teachers prep time. So basically you save time on clicking, switching between programs, switching between different mm -hmm. tools, uh, switching from text editor to somewhere else, printing, you know, printing as a PDF, sending through mail, through email. So uh, it's like you save time. Then you save time on just like manual things. If you prepare your exercises manually, then here every, all the gap fills and matching, everything is automated. Um, so it saves their time, it, it increases their productivity because they are able to produce more exercises. And for example, in my case, it was like I was able to prepare for each single class in a pretty, like I was able to prepare uh, customized activities for each group mm -hmm. or student. Uh, and I would spend like less time on it than before, you know, I would spend on preparing like one thing or two things. Mm -hmm. So, so it boosts the productivity. One more thing which it, which it helps with is it organizes the content of your course. Because currently we have several teachers who don't really use other tools because they're just happy with Lesson Ninja. And if you, uh, if you focus on, um, yeah, taking full advantage of Lesson Ninja, then, uh, you know, all your sets will be visible in one place and you'll be able to easily like manage and see when you did what with whom. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be easy to organize. You can combine, I mean, you can du duplicate the sets. Um, you can uh, prepare like a list of sets for somebody to learn. So mm -hmm. I think it really helps to organize all this. And soon we'll be introducing uh, tagging of the sets. So it'll be easier to navigate as well. Organizing the content and like maybe even not the content, but actually the vocabulary, the mm -hmm. lexis, uh, mm -hmm. you know, which you teach. I'm a big fan of um, Hugh Deller now does it with lexical, Hugh Deller, oh, the lexical, lexical approach. approach. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I, I kind of teach like whole structures, not just single words, but, but mm -hmm. structures. So it helps me to see what I taught when and what's mm -hmm. next and how much I revised something. Um, so it's really easy to, to know my way around this. Yeah. I think one more area is actually the quality of our classes because students are usually like, wow, you prepared this, especially for me, because I can see sentences in this set that, which I had trouble uh, with, you know, in our previous meeting. So actually with not so much prep time, you can surprise people with like, you know, individual personal touch to every exercise and you can easily share an interactive link. So there is no problem with, you know, sharing the file, pasting the files on in some other platform. Maybe it's a PDF, maybe it's a mm -hmm. exercise. So, you know, it's it's less tricky. So students could complete activities asynchronously. Um, so if you share the link, they can do it before or after the, the, the lesson. Exactly. Exactly. They Perfect. can do it as well. Yeah. Yeah. OK, uh, um, well, for, for me, um, when it comes down to online teaching and, you know, if you're teaching 20, 30 students, it's very difficult to remind yourself what you've done previously with that yeah. particular student. And um, uh, so I, I guess, um, uh, as you mentioned, you can remind yourself with Lesson Ninja and the application and the tools that you have what you've actually reviewed with particular students. Exactly. Yeah, great. All right. Well, um, obviously, you know, since the pandemic and since online teaching has taken off uh, to some extent, um, uh, what what makes uh, your platform different to other platforms? Well, I think mostly uh, how it's 
kind of teacher centered. So I think it does make students life better too, because they get better quality of teaching. <laughs> but I think the main purpose was to actually help teachers. And I think other apps are somewhere in between and they kind of like try to make maybe teachers life easier, but also they're trying to make something, you know, with a lot of functions for the student. And sometimes I have the feeling it's like too much and uh, and it would be better to actually focus on teacher's work quality, which will enable the teacher to, you know, prepare more effectively, uh, have more energy and time for other things, mm -hmm. uh, which in the end will, I think, improve the whole uh, teaching and learning process. So I think that's the first difference. The second difference is it doesn't require login from students. Mm -hmm. So it's like really easy to access the exercises and the activities. So you just send the link and that's it. They click and they're inside and that's it. Great. So there's no login required, no strings attached. Uh, we don't, you know, use students data. They don't mm -hmm. have to provide their email, um, nothing, nothing of this sort. I think it's, uh, yeah, I think I can actually uh, stop building the suspense and start sharing my screen because it'd be nice to... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great to about. see what you have to offer. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, it's this is the main view. So it's the set view uh, where you have the list of your sets. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, as you can see, it's quite minimalistic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Ninja, for me, Ninja kind of like uh, reminds me of, makes me think of uh, also like Zen, like being effective. Mm -hmm kind of being zen uh so i think i think this was kind of a background idea as well there is no like there are no extra functionalities we're not really tied to any social media platforms or anything like this so and i think this is also different but at the same time i think a lot of tools out there are really old school and mm -hmm. i think our tool is simple um it has this kind of minimalistic style but at the same time it's modern and it has modern solutions in it and modern user experience so uh, so i think we're, we were trying to hit a sweet spot with um with those um features mm -hmm. and one more thing that makes us different the app is made by teachers and it's made for teachers mm -hmm. because there uh, the app was created by me and tadek and Tadek is now a programmer full time, but he used to teach maths. And yeah, and I'm a full time teacher myself. Uh, so, so I think uh, it this makes it special as well. Um, yeah, and it's completely like DIY thing with just the two of us. Yeah, it looks uh, very uh, simple um and obviously nothing too much happening on the screen it, it looks uh great and um you know uh simple is uh usually the best way yeah. forward and the fact that um it's been developed by teachers for teachers um in a way uh you know um teachers know best what's best for other teachers in in some sense um in some regard well um why don't you run through uh, about um, uh, Lesson Ninja and the sort of capabilities it has then? Uh... Yeah, so let me let me summarize what we've mentioned so far. So about the course um, organization, you can see a set where I put a date uh, mm -hmm. of a class. So if I would put search uh, here, if I could click search here, and I would uh, write uh, Cuba. I mean, in this account, I don't have that many sets because in my real account, I have like 200 of them. Mm -hmm. But when I write uh, when I write the thing here, uh, it would basically show, you know, the it would filter the sets and only show me the sets for Cuba. Yeah. So it would it would uh, it's easy to see everything you've done. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about the organization, but maybe let's start from the beginning. So I'm here, I'm on Lesson Ninja's main set view and I'm going to hit create a new set here. So normally I wouldn't even have this, so I might as well remove this for now. Uh, so if you, uh, if you try Lesson Ninja after watching this interview or reading Martin's, um, blog, 
uh, you will be uh, you will be interested in clicking here, create a new set, and then you can cho choose the type of the set. So it can be a gapped set, uh, or it can be a matching set. Uh, maybe let's start with a gapped set, as this was like the first tool we came up with. And here it is, simple view, uh, creation view. So here you are supposed to type your sentences. And here you can add extra information, clues, or instructions for the student. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't need the instructions, uh, you can just toggle them here. Uh, but uh, so let's try. Yeah, let's let's say we're practicing um, past forms of verbs, irregular past forms of verbs with our students. So let's say I'm going to write this, and then I just hit enter, enter. And I'm in my, my next example, and now I can say, um, yeah, it's autumn, so you know, uh, yeah. And then uh, I can say, uh, Martin brought a cake to the meeting. And mm -hmm. now, if I move my pointer, uh, my cursor over the examples you will see they change into an eraser. Mm. So I'm just going to click, 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 and that and, and, and we're done. And maybe I will name it uh, irregular verbs. Hit create. And there we are. I have my set here. And now I, I normally I would just copy link and send it to my student and here's what the student will see. There's oh, very simple view. Uh, yeah, and students actually appreciate it. Because uh, they can focus on, you know, what's really there instead of like mm -hmm. looking at the whole big platform with plenty of functions. So yes. basically it provides live feedback like live feedback it just corrects you on on the spot so for example mm -hmm. if you if you made a mistake uh, it'll just tell you right away with this little okay here uh but if you if you just write it it'll say it's okay and you can switch with uh, pressing enter or by pressing the arrow next mm -hmm. and again we'll do the same if you hesitate or for example, if you have, uh, yeah, not enough letters, uh, it doesn't correct you right away because maybe you're in the process of thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you reach the number of letters, it might, when you exceed the number of letters, it gives you instant mm -hmm. feedback. Something might be wrong. Something is wrong. Okay. And then you finish and you're done. Basically, you can retry. You can save this link. This link can be saved in your notes or wherever, whatever mm -hmm. you use for your classes, for your online classes. Uh, you can make a list of links, a table with links. Um, there are plenty of solutions on how to distribute it. However, if you would like to um, spice it up a little, here is a setup mode. And you just click here and you can make it easier by displaying first letters of missing words. You can okay. uh, enable them to check the answers mm -hmm. and randomize if they're yeah. bored with the current order, because from my experience, when you revise a lot with the students, finally they they know the order of sentences, so it's easier for them. Yeah. Then if you mess it up completely, they're like, wow, they have to think again. <laughs> um, so let's turn on all these functions and let's see how our link changed. So as you can see, uh, the yeah. that's given here. And if I'm, you know, for example, if I'm not sure I'm doing the exercise on my own as a student and I'm totally, um, I totally blanked out and I'm not sure what really goes here, I will just, I can just press show answer. Mm -hmm. Auto code, but uh, I didn't want to just, you know, auto auto fill it. So mm -hmm. you still need to actually write the answer, which I think makes you more likely to learn something, even though you mm -hmm. showed answers, unlike in the many online exercises. 
Uh, mm -hmm. You can also show word pool, which means you see the options and the options which you've already used are crossed out. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. remaining ones are shown. And again, you, I didn't want to make it like, you know, you, you just click and it works because this would be mm -hmm. a matching exercise, not a gap fill exercise. So yeah. you have to actually look at it, try to memorize it and type it in then. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is how you can configure your link depending on your needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the one more thing you can do is there is this special sharing mode. And if you assign your set as homework, so you don't work with your student on it, uh, you don't work on it during the class, but but you mm -hmm. want to later, and you want to actually see what how the student did, we enable that function. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you press, if you check test homework here, the student will see a window where they have to provide their name. Mm -hmm. okay, to somehow identify themselves. So uh, let's say their name is John. Then they do the exercise. And this time they have no feedback provided. Okay. But we want to challenge them, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it's supposed to be a challenging homework. They can still see the word pool though. So, you know, it's not like we leave them without any uh, help. <laughs> uh, OK, and they're going to finish it. And submit. Confirm and here is what we are going to see as teachers. If we go here to my account. We have an option students results here. Mm -hmm. um, and if you press students results, you will see. How well John did. Mm -hmm. OK, so you'll see his actual answers. So if he made any spelling mistakes. Uh, you would be able to see it here and of course the score, uh, the time they submitted it, the config they used and how long it took as well. Right. So uh, I think these are two um, different use cases as a homework for an individual student or in class as more as a test or like a warm up exercise mm -hmm. for an individual student or a group so you can like uh, share the link with like 10 people at the same time or five people and they will do the exercise and you will see the results as they come and you can evaluate you know okay they still struggle with this and that I can see it right away here so I'm gonna improvise a quick explanation or another activity that that will improve that specific point uh, right. so so this was the idea behind this uh, so this is one more thing you can do with your sets uh, and yeah, and the remaining part is more about your export possibilities. So basically you can uh, export it as a PDF or mm -hmm. as a CSV even, so as a plain, you know, text table with the blanks. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, so then it opens a lot of possibilities no matter what you are using, what platforms you are using. You can just copy it as text and remove the answers. You know, so whether mm -hmm. you're using, I don't know, like note taking programs or Blackboard or anything like this, you can just copy it as plain text and do whatever you want and just treat it as a, you know, as a device that gaps things for you. And then you have like a easy text format, which you can use, but mm -hmm. you can also uh, prepare a PDF, uh, create document uh, and it'll, it'll look like, it'll look like this. So, oh, great. Yeah, so it's a pretty neat PDF with, you know, with the with the instructions and and uh, the sentences. Uh, mm -hmm. If you show the word selection, if you if you check the word selection mode, the words will be given here and you will have a um, fill in exercise. I can actually show it quickly because it's pretty nice. Yeah, so just to show you the PDF with words to choose. Uh, I'm not sure if, if it's gonna. OK. Ah, OK, so you've got the words at the top and then. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And now, uh, yeah, so so that's what you can do with the set after you create mm -hmm. it and the ways of different ways of sharing. So this is the kind of the modern edge I told you about. It's like there are quite a few possibilities. All of them are plain, pretty plain and simple, but they mm -hmm. give you a variety of possibilities. 
But now, uh, what is even more interesting is the way in a gap set you can uh, import stuff. So, for example, let's say I was working on a TED talk. And uh, I can uh, on uh, when you enter TED.com, you can easily access transcripts of the talks, and the transcripts are actually um, proofread uh, and you know nicely prepared, so very reliable source, uh, highly recommended. Uh, I want to copy an excerpt from here, so I, I will just press copy, mm -hmm. and I will go here. I will import. Press the import sentences button here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the split after full stops checked. I'm going to paste it. And here we are. I have six sentences. And they are automatically split. So I can actually just make decisions about what I want to gap depending on the student's level. Of course, um, let's say this is maybe a B1 course. So mm -hmm. I'm going to focus on, mm, on, uh, on this range, uh, maybe some prepositions as well um oh one right. of the questions i was going to ask is you know phrasal verbs can you actually um erase more than just one um, yes yeah yeah so and I think it this looks is a, a great idea for recycling your sets like you can remove mm -hmm. more and more stuff until the students and this is pretty much in the spirit of you know lexical approach where mm -hmm. you first you can remove just a single word but then you know the surrounding words so the student starts to learn the prepositions surrounding the word or you know what mm -hmm. typically goes with the word so some collocations maybe as well this is how i work with uh, with ninja because i can like easily you know just do more gapping mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. yeah so this is going to be uh yeah remote work ted uh i'm going to hit create and yeah and there we go ah great so as you can see, it took me, I think, less than a minute and uh, I was still uh, answering your question in the meantime. So I think yes. pretty quickly uh, I could also, you know, for example, let's say I, then I have a, I don't know, a B2 student. So I will just duplicate it. And I will get here again. I will clear it here with this button here. And then, you know, I can. I can I can maybe I will remove this because it's too easy uh, and then I will focus on um, prepositions for example as they're more tricky um, yeah. yeah so they don't have access to maybe again uh, leave a trail I can remove more stuff uh, pick up where you left off uh, so, uh, so this is pretty interesting as well uh, mm -hmm. evolves it allows people uh, in different time zones to it so i might do something like this and i will i will update it and i have two sets already one is like that's great b1 level and the other is on b2 but you can think also yeah. of specific people if you t teach individually like mostly i do you can think of okay this is something that you know jane has problems with so i'm going to remove this and i'm going to challenge her uh, mm -hmm. and now let's let's just uh, see how the, how you can um work in the second tool which is matching so okay uh, actually the creation is fairly simple as well so you just go here you, you press matching set and i can actually import in the same way exactly as in the gap set and mm -hmm. i can paste here uh, I will keep this checked again, and I will have six sentences. I will maybe rename here um, matching set. I will hit create. Ah, no, sorry, uh, I forgot to uh, split. So this time, when I uh, hoover over the examples, my cursor will change into these funny arrows. Yeah. yeah. And this is what happens if I click. OK, I can pick any place. I can make it very easy. good. OK, so create. it's quite intuitive. It looks really intuitive, really simple, which is uh, great. Um, and the it's fact that you can, thing, yeah, yeah, you can produce uh, either gapped sentences or matching activities in seconds is is wonderful. Yeah.
And here's what it looks like on student's end. They have to uh, make decisions. I'm just clicking randomly now and submit. And then they mm -hmm. get um so yeah so it's pretty cool too and of course uh, the import function works in the same way uh, mm -hmm. but actually with this set i could have i wanted to show the creating view uh, of the matching set but what i could do to to take a shortcut would be i would just basically click here on this gap set and i yeah. would press duplicate as matching set and it would take me right away to the to the to the second tool, and I could you know work from here. Uh, so this is this is like another flow you can uh, you can decide on. Personally, mm -hmm. I think, uh, matching sometimes is better when as a pre-teaching mm -hmm. uh, activity when you know they haven't seen the video yet or they need some basics to start with, and you can just make them guess. You know how to connect some sentences. What are some phrasal verbs? You could split phr phrasal verbs, for example, and they mm -hmm. would have some matching. Of course, again, you can uh, paste it as a PDF somewhere in their notes because the export options are essentially the same. So you can export it as a PDF uh, or you could uh, just paste a link. You can take a screenshot. Uh, and you can uh, do the test or homework um, thing as well. Uh, I didn't really show the timer. The timer kind of makes it more dynamic. Uh, if yeah. you, yeah, if you want to, uh, yeah, speed things up a little so they don't think too much. Uh, mm -hmm. Ticking time clock always <laughs> makes things <laughs> happen uh, quicker. Yeah. Well. Um, I uh, okay, well, thanks for sharing uh, both the uh, gapped uh, activity sets and the matching sets that are available. Um, and it, it looks, as I mentioned before, very intuitive, very simple. And the fact that you can produce uh, student activities in seconds is amazing. So, um, yeah, so yeah, I actually, well done. <laughs> I actually saved this, something as a cherry on top. Uh huh because I wanted to show you my favorite functionality in gap set mode. Uh, as you maybe noticed, I skipped the, the vocab builder thing, and here's how it works. If you click it, you can just provide a single word. Like for example, let's say maybe insist, and you can hit import. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And there you are. Wow. OK, so you can work on individual words and it gives you an example sentence. Um, yeah. Uh, that's great. And the so, <laughs> are in the instructions. Ah. Yeah. D did you use a, a corpus or something to create yeah. these sort of examples yeah we use we we use some dictionary api um mm -hmm. and and this enables us to to search their corpus yeah that's great well yeah that that's wonderful and one important point it's uh, we also support german in this function but basically the platform supports all languages so mm -hmm. no matter if you teach English or some other language, you should be able to import, create, share easily. Mm -hmm. And this is mm -hmm. something we often get asked about. I know you're um, you're running a blog in ELT field. However, I think that there is a lot of teachers out there who actually, uh, you know, uh, teach more than one language. Of so course, yeah. so we are totally open to all foreign language teachers. Oh, nice to know. Um, well, <laughs> that's that's a surprise to me. The the sort of um, uh, individual words and uh, example sentences. Again, that that's amazing. So, thank you. Um, I'm really um, surprised by uh -huh. the sort of <laughs> work that you've done. Like said. Um, well, um, what about the application itself, the website? Um, is it uh, a subscription? process is it paid or you know can um, uh, teachers uh, whatever the language they're teaching can they try out the uh, yes. website for free yes there is a 14-day trial um, free trial 
so you can use it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and then after 14 days, uh, you can decide if you want to continue or not. And then there is a paid so subscription. The pricing right now revolves around one and a half latte. Uh, so uh, so it's an equivalent of yeah, go uh, buying a one latte and a half at a at a at a cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think for, uh, yeah, we were, you know, we were looking for a price that would be like a fraction of hourly rate for teachers because we knew that's what's going to be important. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, so um, hurry because uh, we might be changing prices next year. And if you buy a yearly subscri subscri subscription now, you can actually uh, use it with the low price. And especially for uh, ELT experience um, readers and viewers, we prepared a special discount. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, especially for for your readers and viewers, Martin, we have uh, a little surprise. So if you guys access the link, which Martin will provide, it'll be a special link. Uh, you will get an extra discount of 10%. Um, so it'll be, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope it'll be an extra encouragement, uh, mm. the app. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's uh, it's pretty. I think it's a pretty reasonable price anyway. So I hope I hope it'll not be a big uh, barrier uh, for teachers out there. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in um, the application itself, Lesson Ninja, then please feel free to access the link in the video description uh, as well as in the blog post as well. Yeah, it, it would benefit both your students and uh, yourself as a teacher, saving you time for creating vocabulary exercises. So have a look in the description. Uh, you mentioned briefly uh, at the beginning about future plans with this uh, website and the application and the apps. Um, one thing that comes to mind, because a lot of the students that I teach either face to face or online, um, they tend to use their um, smartphone um, when it comes down to yeah. uh, studying. So is the website itself um, uh, mobile phone, smartphone friendly? Yeah. Yeah, we've actually spent uh, um, quite a lot of time on making sure that the, the all functionalities work um, on mobile. So if you are in a hurry and you want to create a set uh, on your mobile, of course, it won't be as comfortable as on the desktop computer, but it's possible. But when it comes to the student's view, it's just a very smooth experience without any trouble. It shows you the sentences you have to type basically uh, gives you feedback. So the same with matching. So um, for the students, this, the, the experience is very smooth on mobile. So uh, that's definitely something we we took into consideration when we were working on our mobile or the mobile views of the app. Mm, I see. All right. Well, um, would teachers be able to use Lesson Ninja um, within other applications and uh, what integrations import export uh, functionalities does does it have? Yeah, so like I showed before, you can easily um, export it as a PDF or as a CSV file, which pretty much makes it uh, compatible with most of the platforms out there because you can always turn it into a picture or text. Um, but we also prepared something special because we noticed a lot of our users use Quizlet uh, mm -hmm. as their main um, tool for vocabulary vocabulary teaching. About, well, actually, their students use it for vocabulary learning mostly. Mm -hmm. um, and um, because of this, we made Ninja Ready to be a kind of a pre-processing tool for Quizlet. Uh, and to activate this, you need to click on the three dots here, then mm -hmm. show the set as a table. And you'll have a table here. Uh, and now if you copy it to clipboard uh, to the to your clipboard, which you can do uh, pressing here and you go to your Quizlet page. You will be able to ease very easily um import the content from lesson ninja so if i just uh, 
import here and I paste here, uh, yeah, it'll be ready. So, you know, we made it work in a way that I have to just remove the title and then uh. see the sentences are, are gapped, the sentences are gapped and the answers mm -hmm. are on the left. So I think it's a pretty good uh, thing for Quizlet because as we know, the um, Quizlet uh, provides automatic definitions, which is awesome, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really provide the examples. And I think in language teaching, what is the most important thing is the context and example. Mm -hmm. And I've had mm -hmm. Uh, plenty of people in my courses who were able to recognize and passively knew the words, but they still wouldn't use them mm -hmm. because they would know the meaning, but they wouldn't know the actual use of those uh, mm -hmm. vocabulary structures. So I mm -hmm. think through examples, you can build a better understanding of vocabulary. And that's why, uh, and I, I, I noticed that this function is kind of missing from Quizlet, and I think it would be nicer to work more with examples. That's why we planned to uh, introduce this function in Less Than Ninja. Uh, you, can, you can add definitions and also uh, include your examples. So it, it makes mm -hmm. it pretty cool, as you know, as something you can just use as a pre-processing tool or, or something um, as like an, a kind of like a complementary tool to your Quizlet use. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty, you know, pretty useful. Right. Well, uh, thank you ever so much for taking the time to share your application. It was really interesting to see what potential it has, uh, Mache. Thank you, Martin, for having me. It was a pleasure and I'm glad, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, and I hope your viewers and readers will enjoy it too. Uh, as you mentioned before, um, uh, there's going to be a, a special link, so check the link in the description and uh, you'll get 10% off uh, the uh, price, uh, monthly annual price for this application. And uh, also uh, consider uh, checking it out for 14 days. And if you do really like this application and it looks absolutely amazing, um, uh, try it out and see if uh, it actually works with your students and your lesson planning because um, it looks absolutely amazing. So thank you again, uh, Mache. You're welcome, Martin. Uh, and the best wishes and happy teaching to all the uh, <laughs> viewers and readers of ELT experiences, the best ELT blog out there. <laughs> oh, thank you, but <laughs> maybe the second best uh, website after yours. <laughs> 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 okay well um there we have it today so thank you um if you enjoyed today's interview and uh feel free to hit the like button also let me know of any ideas or thoughts or future functionalities that this uh website could offer in the comments below it'd be great to see your ideas and read your ideas about that as well um so uh happy teaching stay safe and i'll see you soon bye bye <laughs>